Brian Rexrode's real name is Carl, named after his grandfather. For the time we did spend together, you know, if he was fixing something, I always really enjoy watching, even just as a small child, and as I got older, I was sometimes helping him with some things. So he would have projects ready to go when, when we did come and visit. And so Brian was thrilled to follow in his grandfather's footsteps to a career at AT&T. My grandfather was Carl Rumpel. He was my mother's father. He uh, worked for AT&T Bell Labs somewhere around 1929 to 1966. So upwards around 35 years. And he was an electrical engineer, focused mostly on developing time references and a variety of different systems or tools. What Brian didn't know was that his grandfather had a secret use for those time references, a secret that helped to change the world. He also worked on a, uh, a project that was a voice encryption system uh, called Sig Sally, one of the first, if not the first, voice encryption system that was used by Churchill and Roosevelt to communicate during the World War II effort. Yes, the man Brian called Gramp was instrumental in communication between Winston Churchill and President Franklin Roosevelt as they worked to defeat Nazi Germany. With stations set up in Washington, London, and Northern Africa, Sig Sally allowed phone conversations without anyone unwanted listening in. I suspect that his role in that was actually one of the really important aspects, which is if you have an encryption system, you have to have the key material on the two ends be exactly the same at the same time. And to have a very good time reference for that would be very important. Brian made this discovery when he found an old journal where his grandfather referred to a mysterious Project X, something Carl wasn't allowed to talk much about. It wasn't until 30 years after the war that the project was declassified and the name Sig Sally became known to the world. It's a privilege to, to be a part of the legacy. Um, you know, this company's been around for a very long time. It's made a huge amount of contributions in the area of technology. We're actually speeding up or reviving our contribution in technology, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. He's more than a part of it. In an amazing coincidence, Brian has spent his entire career working in information security, starting with the federal government and now with AT&T for over 20 years. Just like Carl, Brian is doing his part in a different kind of war, 70 years later, but a war AT&T fights every day. We are managing the huge amounts of data that are necessary to operate the company, managing the huge amounts of data that our customers are depending on us to deliver to the network. So security is really an important piece of this. Uh, protecting the privacy of our customers is an important piece of this. The tendency today, and we call it threat analytics, is to tend to be looking for the threats. Well, by the time the threat has attacked, it's a little bit late. You really want to be doing something to protect before the threat comes. And now, armed with the information that his grandfather was not only a pioneer, but a patriot, Brian couldn't be prouder. And he hopes the feeling would be mutual. You know, when I reflect back on my grandfather, I, I mostly tend to think about how he would reflect on me. That is, have I really sort of fulfilled his expectations? And not that he ever placed any specific expectations, but I think my contributions, the things that I have been doing as a part of AT&T, as a part of helping to uh, protect information, as a part of just working in the technology field, I think he would be, at the very least, satisfied. And I hope he would be proud of me for that.